Come on, baby. The rubber band, man. That's my joint right there. That's why I'm making faces at me. Ain't no half stepping with Marcus J. Thank y'all for staying with us as we get through uh, the rest of the show. And thank everybody that's listening to us out there on social media. We see uh, the lights is on in Jersey City. And we see the lights is on in Atlanta, GA. And we see some folks checking in Hotline with up. us. Uh, in the Maryland DC area so we appreciate all the listeners that we got everybody that's checking in as uh, we transition to our final segment of the night before we get into our rants and our closings I know that I had teased earlier that uh, I will share a story of racial profiling uh, that uh, happened to me directly and I will do that later on in the show I never typically tip my hand when it comes to my rants uh, I'm going to do something different tonight. I am going to do my rant and then I will actually allow uh, the crew here, if you want to talk about it, we can uh, after the rant because when you hear the story, you may want to. If you do, great. If you don't, that's fine. We'll just get on the hell on up out of here. Uh, so but rant. Uh, we're going to go around the room and ask some random questions. For those folks who are new listeners to the show, we don't always do random. Uh, random is a segment where we come up with questions, four to six questions, where we just ask random questions, stuff that's just kind of mindless. You know, we sometimes uh, can have a serious show where we're kind of, you know, talking about mental illness and talking about dumbasses and all kinds of stuff. Uh, but tonight we're going to do something different. Actually, we're getting a call. So. Before we get to random, uh, we're going to see who this is Call on me. the phone. Uh, and so we'll take a, a brief detour from talking about random. And we'll actually detour and talk to the folks that we have on the line. So, caller, you live on the air. Ain't no half step with Marcus. Jay, caller, what's your name? Where you calling from? What you want to get in on? Hey, this is Gina Wooten, Cole Hattie Greensboro, North Carolina. Want to give a shout out to my cousin Marcus J. What's going on, cuz? How you doing? Thank you so much for calling up the, for for calling up the show. I'm you, doing well. You got a you got a wonderful show on going on tonight, and you've had so many different topics. I don't even know which one I want to address. But I think I want to talk about that young man who left his son in the car. Oh, yeah. Listen, hurt people hurt people. Yeah. And there's no way you're going to go to work and you got a, day, a daycare on your job site and forget to take your child to the daycare. you got something going on in your mind, and it goes far beyond the mornings. It happened a long time ago. Right, right. That's, that, that whole thing was crazy. When yeah, we, when, I, well, we talked about that because we talked about how um, his wife apparently was researching that. And it just seems almost odd that you looking into how long it takes for the child to expire in a hot car. I mean, that's crazy. That's premeditated, if you ask me. What do you think? I happen to definitely believe it's premeditated because, I mean, on the way to the job, was the air conditioner not on in the first place? And how you not going to turn your air conditioner off and not look back to see where your child is that you took out the house going to work? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Mr. LP alluded to the fact that he came outside of work, uh, checked on the kid. There's surveillance video where you see him going to the car, leaving the kid a second time and going back to work. What do you think about that part? Well... I just wanted to give my little opinion. Like I said, you had a lot of different topics going on tonight, and I really wish I could have listened to it all in full, but my phone kept going out. But I am really excited about what you're doing. There are some sick people out in this world. Some are getting slapped on the hand, and some are getting just, you know, overly sentenced. But um, your popularity is increasing, and I love listening to your talk show. Well, we appreciate it. Thank you, cuz. Love you to death. And give the fam down there in Greensboro some love for me here in Richmond, Virginia. Love you, man. Thanks for calling. Love you back, babe. All right. Talk to you soon. You too, sis. <laughs> she give it some love. Thanks, cuz. Talk to you soon. Ain't no half stepping. Right, Ain't no half stepping with Marcus J. That's my cousin Gina. And you know it's funny. I was just talking to my mom about my cousin Gina just this morning. And I told my mother, I said I need to call Gina. I hadn't talked to her in a while. And then the day got away from me, and I didn't get around to it. And so I'm glad she called. Y'all remember when we uh, had the show on the station that we used to be on? My cousin Terry would call in a lot, and um, she and I would literally 
argue and fight and fuss on the air she would call in and we would just battle well cousin gina is cousin terry's older sister so you know for those long time listeners just to kind of give you a little bit of uh background on who that is so i appreciate that's my fam calling in i appreciate that ain't no how to stay with marcus j all right we was getting into random sy um and i was explaining to the listeners what uh the new listeners what random is and basically what it is is you know we come up with four to six questions tonight i have five where we just ask random questions, whatever the hell it is, you know, it's silly stuff, um, and and when one of them is not so silly. So I'll get right to it. Sy, what's your favorite color? Yellow. Favorite color is yellow. Yellow. Why? Because it's bright. It's heavy. It's heavy. Oh, good grief! I Mr. thought you knew yellow was my favorite. Well, color. we're doing random. It ain't about me. It's about the folks that's listening to us. Okay. And you know, in the interest of full disclosure, I have forgotten. Mister LP, <laughs> what's your favorite color? My favorite color is black. Favorite color is black. black. Why is your favorite color black? It's the strength, the energy in it. No, I can dig because it because it has anti-cracking mechanism. Anti-cracking mechanism. My, uh, <laughs> my 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 favorite color is black. I got a one A favorite color. My one A favorite color is black um if you if you see me you know you most of the time will see me with something black on or, or dark colors uh but my second favorite color surprisingly and 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 if mama j is listening she's cringing right now i'm gonna tell the i'm gonna tell the, tell the world it. i'll let you guess but if you guess wrong I'm gonna make fun of you red no pink. close it's pink my second favorite oh. color is pink and i have no shame i'll wear pink i don't like i typically don't like Cam pastels wrong. Yeah, no, not not Cameron. I typically don't wear pastels, but I'll wear pink like in a heartbeat. So I don't know. I allow Brett to hit man hard. I don't know what that's about, but oh. you know, I stab with Marcus. So that. said we need a pink t shirt. <laughs> <laughs> as uh, we know you it said stuff. literally as you're saying so you know i think i just gave said a little uh a little ammunition <laughs> uh michelle k was asking if it was purple or red uh she's saying she's actually saying for her it's purple uh or red and said is uh having a little fun at my uh at my expense but pink is my favorite <laughs> color of my own free will and accord so uh what's your first pet mr lp you had, you had any pets what's your uh, first pet uh my first pet uh reggie Reginald Archibald Sykes was his name. Reginald Archibald Sykes was a what kind of? Oh, animal? sorry, it was a uh, cat. He was a cat. It was a. It was a. Well, obviously, it's a dude cat if his name is Reginald, mm-hmm. or or else it would have been Regina. <laughs> Stephen <laughs> didn't know it was. <laughs> <laughs> Reginald Archibald. Well, I got lots of stories, but Reggie used to walk me to school and come back and everything else back in the day. I love Reggie. I used to make money taking Reggie to go to people's houses and, and catch mice and. and Come back and get some money. How how old was Reggie? I mean, how old were you when you got Reggie? I'm sorry. Uh, I was six. So you were a kid. You mm-hmm. remember how long, how old you were when you didn't have Reggie anymore? Uh, someone came by and stole, uh, shot, and st- uh, shot, uh, was shot at Reggie, and then um, eventually caught him. Uh, I was 11, not before too long before I moved here. Michelle K says her first pet was Freddie the Goldfish. Uh, Freddie the Goldfish. That, that's cool. I, I, I got fish. Um, I had fish as a kid. I, you know, I do okay with them now, but mm-hmm. um, when I was a kid, like, fish would die at the house. Fish weren't my favorite <laughs> first pet. I'll share what my first pet was after SY. But I did have fish. I couldn't keep goldfish alive. That's why I don't have goldfish, goldfish now. Goldfish like one of the easiest things. No, nah, man. Goldfish die, man. Get a kissing fish. I don't want to kiss my fish. Though. No, no, no. We don't, I don't. I don't want you to kiss it. I, I don't want to kiss the fish. I don't. I don't. I don't want you to kiss that's that's weird. Don't kiss it. I mean, like even from the outside of the bowl, <laughs> this don't is kiss weird. It. You remember? Remember? You remember Arnold stuff. Jackson's fish, the black goldfish named Abraham on yes. different strokes. How cool was that? Right, that's why I was your first pet. I believe my first pet was a cat. Yeah. And her name was Meow. Samantha. Remember, mother. Samantha. Mm-hmm. Really. What was the deal with Samantha? You remember how old you were? Um, I might have been about nine or ten, maybe. I'm not sure. You remember but Samantha's demise? Samantha used to go up under my parents' bed sheets and go potty. So my mom drove us down past the school and freed Samantha. And lo and behold, we don't know how she made it back to the house, but she made it back to the house. And my father was like, well, what's the cat doing outside of the door? That's the craziest thing. And huh? then we drove Samantha a little further. And now she's somewhere out there. 
that, that was crazy. She oh. finna, she finna have a moment. My my first my first pet was my German Shepherd. A dog name was Rocky. Um, I named Rocky. Uh, he was a family dog. It wasn't my dog. It was a family dog, but I was allowed to name him. Um, I named him Rocky. Anybody that knows me knows that I am a huge Rocky Balboa fan. I was a huge Rocky Balboa fan because of t- cousin Terry. Because when I was like seven. We used to watch Rocky on HBO all the damn time. It's her fault, but I grew up borderline <laughs> obsessed. To this day, if Rocky comes on, like I have to stop what I'm doing, particularly if it's Rocky three or four, I, I have to watch Rocky. I think Sylvester Stallone and his movies suck. That's okay for you to I be mean, wrong on to that. The highest level. It's of okay for you to be wrong about that. You know, I was probably I don't know. 12 13 when we got rocky something like that mm-hmm. only we didn't treat rocky all that good though rocky used to live in the basement like rocky wasn't like yeah, the house dog too. yeah man i'm thinking about it now like rocky should have had free shepherd. reign in the house he only bit like five people though so it wasn't like only know. yeah well you know dogs are cooler than cats like cats don't do nothing but make mean faces and like, cats scratch the daylights like, out. They're just like cat true. pee on your couch and stuff. Cats like, a mean little yeah, SOB. Yeah, man. Rocky bit. All right, let's see. Let's go through it. Rocky bit uh, my uncle Boots. Uh, Rocky bit my best friend Damon. Uh, Rocky bit my dad's best friend Marco. Uh, and Rocky actually, Rocky got Boots twice. That's the reason why I'm thinking five is actually four. And Rocky got the plumber. Now I can see Rocky getting the plumber. Yeah, he got the plumber. He was trying to sell him crap. Well, this is how we got the plumber. <laughs> We're gonna move on to the rest of the questions. But this is how he got the plumber, right? Because like I told you how Rocky lived in the basement. So this one day I come home from where wherever I was at and Rocky was in the house. And one thing we never did was we never ate with Rocky in the house. We always made sure that he was in the basement when mm-hmm. we ate. So I was about to get something to eat. So I put Rocky in the basement. And the next thing you know, I just hear all of the screaming, like, what the hell? And so I go downstairs, and I just lock Rocky in the basement with the plumber. <laughs> awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. Ain't no ass to ever walk his Jay. All right. You thought uh, the plumber was an intruder. I did, man. I did. I did. I did. Um, uh, keeping with, keeping with – um. Pets. Uh, have you ever, as why, been chased by a dog? Like, no. Never been chased by a dog? No. You don't have no dog chasing stories that no. you could tell even secondhand from somebody else? No. Okay, moving on from you, Mr. LP. I, I, used, to fight, <laughs> I, I used to fight the dogs in the neighborhood that would try to beat me. You bit the dogs? No, fight. Oh. I fight. One dog was coming after me, friends. I said, come on. And, you know, and I was probably... Actually, I was one of the bigger kids when I was younger, so I used to sit in a fight, and people was like, what in the world? You stop fighting dogs, and I was known that, you know, don't mess with me. I'll fight the dog. So you the guy that's fighting the dog. Yeah, I would sit there. One of them, I grabbed I don't know what type of dog it was, but they said it was all way bigger than me. I grabbed him about to go collar and hit and punched him. That's what's the, wrong with him now. Yeah, that's crazy. You know what inspired? <laughs> I'm going to tell you what inspired this question, though. First of all, we used to get chased by the neighborhood straight all the time when I was a kid, like before we had Rocky. Like there was this one dog from down the street, and we knew who the owner was, but he always used to just roam the neighborhood and chase you. And this was back in the day where it wasn't nothing to run up on the hood of somebody's car running from a dog. Like now, I would like, you're just going to have to get bit. Get the hell off my car. Like I'm that guy. Um, But I (laughs) I was with a client about a week ago. And um, I'm at her house, and I'm doing my business uh, for the daytime job. And her dog, you know, literally starts biting my pants leg. He's, like, literally biting my pants leg. Now, I, I've gotten to a point where I'm not running from a dog. Like, if you want to, if it goes down and it just goes down, I, I, you know, I may look young, but I don't feel young all the time. I'm not running. I'm just, if you got me, you just got me. Right. And he was biting my pants leg, like, literally. <laughs> So I starts kicking at the dog, like, get the hell off me, you little piece of shit, mm-hmm. you know? And the lady was like, don't you kick at my dog. I said, this little bastard is biting my pants leg. You ought to be lucky you're not in that tree getting your dog right now. Why wasn't she calling her dog away? I don't know, but she was fussing at me for kicking at him. I would have kicked that mm-hmm. SOB. Well, that's why I said. I only kicked at him. That's why I said. You lucky you're not yeah. in that tree getting him out right now. Yeah, you know, sure making me does. mad. Get me all fired up. I'm getting mad. I'm, just, I need a new I, pair of pants I'm, now. I'm just getting mad again right now. I mean, he didn't put holes in it, but it was like you could see like the, the, the you know the little mm-hmm. spit and stuff. I mean, he didn't put a hole in it, you know, because he was a little punk dog. But still, anyway. Um, 
Warm weather or cold weather for your vacation? Are you one of those people that's got to go to the beach? Are you going hiking? Are you going uh, to go skiing? You know, some people like to go to, I don't know what that rich place they'd like to go in Colorado to go ski. Uh, would you rather go to a beach in the Caribbean? Aspen. Aspen, that's it. Um, Mr. LP, since you helped me out with that. Cold weather vacation or warm weather vacation? What you doing? Warm weather because I like the moisture in the air. I love humidity. Okay. All right. So you would you go skiing or would you? Oh yeah, most definitely. Plenty. You would yeah. do it. You yeah. just if you had a choice between the two. Yeah, if I had to, if, yeah, either one. If I would love both, but I would uh, do the warm weather first. I can dig it. I can dig it. Have you ever done um, a barefoot uh, water thing with the rope? I have. I was in Ocho Rios in uh, Ocho Rios in Jamaica, um, you know, several years ago. And, you know, we were we were climbing up Dunn's River Falls and they make you take off your shoes. And it wasn't a rope that we had to do, but we had to um, we had to hold each other's hands and they did it. You know, they they did it male, female, male, female, because they figured that, it would, you know, it would balance the sizes and the strength and stuff. And so we went from the bottom of the falls all the way up to the top. Started from the bottom now. <laughs> you know I'm what? <laughs> we used to figure out a, re- a way to get that in. <laughs> like lately, we've been getting it into our shows. Um, but that's 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 crazy. Michelle K says that she would prefer uh, the warm weather. That's why we think. Definitely hot. Definitely hot. Yeah. I'm allergic to the cold. Are you really? Just in case you didn't know. Yes. Well, I will say this. That's I'll- not funny. Oh, okay. I thought you was just being funny. No, okay. I'm allergic to the cold, and if I have to do a segment, I will. I, I, I will say this about um, the weather. Mm-hmm. Uh, I am one who prefers what I like to call San Diego, Florida weather. I prefer San Diego, Florida weather because in San Diego and in Tampa, Florida, uh, one city I've been to many times, one city I've never been to, uh, the median temperature is around 72 degrees, which is the temperature that normal people put in their house. So if I can live in 72 degree weather all the time, then I'm good because some days I'm hot natured and some days I'm cold natured. But at 72 degrees, you're going to get in where you fit in. You can wear a sweater or shorts and you'll be fine. You'll, you'll be comfortable. But I will say this, and I'm going to make this grand proclamation and it cannot be disputed. Ever since I've been 40, it has not been cold. I think it's because of me. <laughs> it has not been cold since I've been 40. Sweetie? Yes. It is not because of you. I think it's because of me. No, you It's really, because of me. You, you, I've been 40 for, for almost a month. You, you know, tomorrow realize. will make four weeks since I've been in my 40s and has not been cold since I was in my 40s. He's I. He's going through the change. I think it's because of me. No, I'm talking about like the outside temperature. Like, I haven't worn a coat or anything since I've been in my 40s. We, we like the coat to say, I haven't worn a coat. Yeah, man. Don't say you haven't worn anything. I didn't say that. I said I haven't worn a coat. Or anything. Oh, oh, yeah. I did say or I did throw or anything in there. <laughs> Y'all. I mean, I mean, you know, my or anything ain't bad. Thank you very much. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I'm regulating, oh I'm regulating the climate here. All right. Last question I'm going to ask in random. Uh, ask why. Have you ever been racially profiled? No. Never in your life? Mm-mm. Wow. Really? You probably don't know. I'm not stupid. No, but it's like people who just do it randomly, you don't know. No. You did not interact with them. Let me tell you something. I pick up on every little thing. I'll give a reason for any little thing you say to come out your mouth to be racist, so I would have known. No, somebody, you could have been walking, smiling, someone could be across the street, saw you, oh, she must have been hot. You don't know. Marcus, move on. Mr. LP, I, I won't ask the question. I'll just ask for the example. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> because we know you've been racially profiled, and I know that you've got many stories. Just pick one, give me one, so that we can move on. Before I hit you. <laughs> um, yeah, he always fires her up. Like, I, I tell you, this, you know this woman right here, she is so mild-mannered and, nature, and, nice and mild-natured. But it's something about Mr. LP be getting her all rowdy it up. Because he's just a fire starter. Because, because I'm crazy and it just drives her one. No, you ain't crazy. You out your damn mind. <laughs> yeah, oh, there's a difference? Attention. Pay okay. attention to who you messing with now. Yeah, okay. Well, basically, uh, I'm the uh, one time in college, uh, 
uh, I didn't know bank was uh, robbed and then they kept searching the campus because they said they ran towards the campus and me you know me my nerdy self I'm walking from the library at 3 30 in the morning and they had to kick me out and uh, they saw me they said I look like the suspect uh, and I'm like huh and they brought me in asked me all these other questions they brought the other guy in who ended up when the lady came in and uh, they picked the guy but the guy was a six four with uh, fair skin and uh, big afro hair. Yeah, I could see their resemblance. Yeah, and I told the officers <laughs> go. I think one of the few times I did cuss, and I told the officers go f yourself. You said that? Yes, because I was pissed off. I really would like to see him do that too. Wow, Mr. LP used the f word. Mm-hmm. I'm not proud of it. Man, we're gonna get you to do that off the air. I want to see if you can do it. You know what I mean? I, it won't I, sound right. I, no, it won't. But I we'll still it, see if his. I, yeah, I want to see if his mouth can even formulate the phrase, to 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 even say it. You know what I mean? Like this dude over here, it might be one of the most nicest, prim and proper type of dudes I know. I don't even think you knew them kind of words, man. I it just made I can me teach so you mad. something though. I, 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 I've heard no. several. <laughs> but you know. damn, that's why you gonna look at me like that. You behave yourself. I don't wanna. Anyway, ain't no ask that with Marcus Jai. We're gonna take our final break of the night, and when we come back, oh, these I are will, your randoms. When I oh. when we and I will take we'll take the final break of the night, and when we come back, I will share my story of racial profile and why I wanted to talk about it tonight. That's why, Mr. LP and yours truly, ain't no ask that with Marcus Jai. Be back in a minute. <laughs> 